Good morning. Uh, just checking in. A special Thursday edition. You know, it's raining out here. So I'm trying to figure out how much walking I'm going to get done today. Um, what's up, Maris Ventrell? Shanti Singh. Got a list <laughs> gorgeously. The real Lord Khan. Who want to work? I want to work. So you guys clear, this is kombucha. Lemonade, help stomach, dub it all the time. What up DJ Mag, Don, the Don, uh, Brandy's, <laughs> XE, uh, people requesting, uh, good morning y'all. So I had, uh, I picked three questions from last time. Um, and a lot of time I, I stopped talking about you know, the whole uh, how I got in the industry and the whole thing and you know but somebody asks you know if I had no experience how do I get into the music industry? See, like to me when you got that hustle and you guys know I'm from from B more. There's no industry I can't get in that I want to get in. So I really don't like when people say how do I get in. There's no one way to get in anything. Some people go to school, some people intern, some people know people, you know, it, it, you know, some people have families of families that have been, and they get it done that way. But I'm just saying like, we are at the age of technology match with true hustle. See, a lot of people want to, want to say they want to do this shit, but they're not willing to, it's like, Yo, I, I want to be a Green Beret, or I want to be in the Marines, or I want to be up in the elite force, but you ain't willing to do the work. So the reality is, you know, I believe you can get into anything if you're willing to put in the work. Somebody always knows somebody who knows somebody else. You want to get in radio? Go sit in front of a radio station. You want to get in a record company? Go sit in front of a record company. Go stand by an artist. Go work at, um, um, work at, at a club. Whatever you got to do to get next to what you got to do. You just gotta have a hustle. Um, somebody asked me my favorite cigar. Now you know it, it, with cigars, it, it really feels like your time of day. So uh, most of the time in the morning, uh, I, I smoke uh, a signature David off, and then I get to my, my Cubans, and you know, uh, there's a cigar from David off called Ginza. Uh, shout out to David Off, but uh, my favorite cigar, my favorite cigar is Upman 56. Uh, H. Upman 56, uh, limited edition Cuban, it's amazing. Um, I just love the flavor, the taste, and big shout out to my man, uh, Abe, Hugo, uh, and the Cigar Room for always making sure I'm good. Really appreciate you guys. You know, I, I try. <laughs> Darren said, Darren, you remember when I taught you about cigars? Yeah, you know, that was something, you know. But again, so, you know, first, you got to have a hustle to get in anything. Number two, you got to, cigars should be like art to you. You got to figure out what's good, you know, what you like. Uh, and number three, uh, somebody asked me, you know, well, you know, why do you still, you know, hustle so hard? You know, I, and I think every athlete, if they could play, they'll keep playing. Uh, every executive, if they could exec, they keep, it's in my blood. You know, I, I, don't, I don't know how not to be a CEO. I don't know how not to work hard for myself and my culture. You know, and so to me, um, I'm doing this as long as I can. As long as I can offer a value proposition to those who wish to do greater things. And uh, guys, uh, a lot of you guys, you know, some people, you know, have jobs. You know, I've never had a job in my life because I've really never done anything that I really didn't want to do. So it was always a purpose driven life. So, you know, I appreciate all you guys. Uh, actor David Larian, if I said it right, uh, The Real, Lord Ken. You know, Dunn, son, Morgan State, holler. Young Goldie, what up, man? You know, be more. 
um, Choice Homes. Um, who else? Let me see. Legends, uh, Legends, Legends. Oop. Uh, Don Son again. Listen, uh, official Santa Montana. Um, you know, all I can ask you guys to do. Uh, a big shout out to a man, uh, Roger Mason. He had his 40th birthday yesterday. Um, had a COVID uh, dinner with some fellas. Um, you know, one thing I, 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 I told them, um, you age, you know, you, you, you look at it, oh, I got May 30, oh, I'm May 40, oh, I'm May 50. And I said, you should look at life as something that, as much as it's a gift to have it, the true gift is that you live it every single day. I'm happy I woke up today. Happy I woke up today. But I'm even happier that I'm going to go out here and get it. This is Kevin Lyles on a two-minute take. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Live love. Live life. And remember what I said earlier on Monday. Be love. All right. Thanks. Be good.